Hello, people of God. My name is Tosin B, and I want to invite you to a two-day crusade in the Keja, happening on the 17th and 18th of this month at LTBA Agidindi, organized by Rose of Sharon Glorious Ministry International. I'll be there with my team, and of course, I want you to be there with your friends and family. Definitely, our dear mommy, Apostle Paulo Show, Alakija, woo! We'll be there ministering to us. And Minister Darry Justified will be there ministering also. You don't want to miss this. Tell your friends and your family members it's going to be an amazing time in God's presence and a time you will never forget in your life. Beat me there and invite your family and friends also. 17th and 18th, 6 p.m. daily. God bless you. I want to dance. Hello, people of God. My name is Darry Justified. I especially want to invite you to today power packed revival happening live at the LTV ground at the, at the Dindi, in Kega, powered by Rose of Sharon Glorious Ministry International. Our host is our mother in the Lord, Apostle for Lord John Lakija. On the 17th and on the 18th of this month, August, 6 p.m. daily, LTV ground. You don't want to miss this one. Ministry with me is Minister to Sibi and my humble self. He promises to be a two-day power pack revival Tad, jesus is coming soon the son of man is coming soon will you be ready invite your friends and your loved ones make sure you come early 6 p.m is the time don't miss it make sure you come with someone jesus is waiting for you god bless you see you there opportunity given unto you. Father, I will bless, begin to appreciate God for the gift of life. Thank God for the opportunity 
given unto you to be here, uh, life among the living in the, in the presence of the Lord. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him adoration. Bless his name. Give him adoration. Worship him in your own words. Tell him, thank him. Thank him for the beautiful and wonderful thing that he's been doing in your life. Bless his name. Let's thank God for the gift of life. Bless his name, O oh Lord. Father, we bless your name. Let's pray and declare today that this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray that the kingdom of God come and be established here today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray that your kingdom come and be established here in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your kingdom come and be established here today in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray that the will of God be done in and through the crusade in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we want your will to be done in the crusade through the crusade in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your will be done. Let your will be done in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us also pray that the purpose for the crusade will be fulfilled in the Kaja community and in the body of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray in one accord that the purpose for this crusade be fulfilled in the body of Christ and in the Kaja community in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask that the purpose will be fulfilled to the glory of your holy name. Let us invite the presence of the Holy Spirit to move on in that Holy Spirit. We ask that you move like never before. Ask for the presence of the Holy Spirit. Ask him to move. Move to glorify Jesus. Move to bless us because we have come to our gathering is unto God alone. Let God move on in that in our midst. Holy Spirit, move like never before before. Move and glorify Jesus. Move and glorify Jesus in this place. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Let us also pray that we will be ministered to in words and in songs both online and on site. In the mighty name of Jesus. For as many that will connect online and everyone present here. Let's pray that we will be ministered to indeed in words and in songs. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have Read. Mark 16 20 I read and they went out and preached everywhere the Lord working with them and confirming the world through the accompanying signs we are here in obedience to fulfill the great commission father we bless your name we give you all the glory we pray that according to your word because we are fulfilling the great commission the great mandate Lord that you be with the mother of your daughter Apostle Lord, that you are going to use as, a, as your vessel unto honor in this crusade that you confirm your word in our mouth with evil in the mighty name of Jesus with deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus with salvation of souls in the mighty name of Jesus Father we give you all the glory we give you all the honor because we know we will not live here the same way we came to the glory of your holy name in Jesus mighty name we have prayed in Jesus wonderful name we have prayed and so I declare this service open in the name of God the Father in the name of God the Son Amen. and in the name of God the Holy Spirit Amen. Amen. Please say to the person to your right, to your left, I am in for a refreshing time in God's presence. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Every living soul shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And as you're shouting hallelujah, I wanted to shout the name of Jesus. Are we ready? One, two, go. Jesus. Hold the name. Jesus and this atmosphere, open up your mouth and just speak into the atmosphere. There is nothing they cannot do. My yeah. no shatay and a hand and a door shatay and a lena. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, yeah. Jesus, oh, in the name of every other name. And a door shatay and a hand and a door shatay. Yay! There is power in your name.
and scream the name Jesus you are not shouting that name like you should the Bible says at the name of Jesus every knee bows and also in Psalm it says let everything that has breath praise who? the Lord so can you shout the name Jesus Jesus are you ready to give God praise come on Lord, we've come to give you praise. We've come to give you thanks. Oh, we bless your name. Wherever you are, find your space. Yes, Lord. What a God. 
a clap offering hallelujah can you just go ahead and wave those things unto Jesus tonight we're here tonight proclaiming the name of Jesus Jesus we lift you Jesus we raise you Jesus we restore you tonight hallelujah
King Jesus, you are worthy, so worthy to be praised. King Jesus, you are faithful, so faithful.
Jesus. With a loud voice, shout the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Are you already refreshed? More will come in his presence in Jesus' name. Revelation 12, 11 says, They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. If you have a testimony that you want to use to encourage the people of God and to make a boast of what the Lord has done in your life, please come to the back of the altar for vetting. God bless you. Shout hallelujah. If you know that you are in the presence of the living God, who is able to do all things, please rise on your feet and shout hallelujah. I think we can do better than that. To the King of kings and to the Lord of lords, let somebody shout hallelujah. We want to pray now. Are you ready to pray? But before we start, I want to just honor God in the life of our mommy, the convener of this program, Apostle Fallon Rosho Alakija. Mommy, God bless you, ma. I'm not taking this for granted. Let's put our hands together for the King of Kings. If you are appreciating God, do it better. Amen. Amen. Please lift up your hands and begin to appreciate God. Say, God, I thank you for this evening. You are not here for mommy. You are not here for any minister of God. You are here for God. Lift up your hands unto the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The one that was, the one that is, the one that will forever be. Please appreciate him. Appreciate the King of Glory, the Savior of the universe. The one that came and died for us. Let's give him the praise. Let's give him the honor. Let's worship God in the beauty of his holiness. And in the firmament of his power, let's appreciate him. The author of life. The one that has made you to be alive and, and, and made me to be alive. You came here from somewhere. You were not involved in any accident. Appreciate God. Appreciate God. Many will have been looking forward to this program, but they may not be able to make it. You have been able to make it to this, pro to this place. Please give God thanks for what he's about to do this evening. Blessed be to the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. In Psalm 65, verse 2, the Bible says, And unto him that hears prayer shall all flesh come. You have come as a flesh. I want you to pray and say, Father, this evening I am here for you. Let me not go the same way I have come. I am here for you. I am here for your touch. I am here. Bible testify about this God that is the one that hears prayer. He hears and answers. All flesh shall come on. You are a flesh. You have come here. Father, please touch me tonight. Don't let me go back the same way I have come. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We are going to pray that by the blood of Jesus, say by the blood of Jesus, we take authority of this environment. In the name of Jesus, we take authority by the blood of Jesus. 
we take authority over demons, over territorial demons, over powers, over principalities. By the blood of Jesus, I can hear you pray. I can hear your voices. We take authority over every power on assignment, whatever may be their mission, to hinder people from hearing and, and acting to the word of God. By the blood of Jesus, we take authority over them all. In the name of Jesus, we, we take authority over every spirit that hinders man from receiving the word of God. We take authority over every wandering spirit that may want to hinder the blessing of the people. By the blood of Jesus, we take authority over you right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. In 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4, the Bible says, for the uh, weapons of our warfare, they are not kind, but they are mighty true God. So the pulling down of strong gold. Sin is a strong gold. Sickness is a strong gold. Poverty is a strong gold. But because our weapons are not kind, we have the blood of Jesus, we have the name of Jesus, we have the word of God. We are going to pray that tonight in the name of Jesus. We bring down every stronghold of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Are you praying? Join me and pray. In the name of Jesus. We bring down every stronghold of the enemy. There may be sin. There may be any evil. There may be sickness. Whatever is the stronghold of the wicked in your life. We bring them down. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We are going to pray and say, Father, can I hear you say, Father? In the name of Jesus, let the word of God have a free course in all our lives tonight. Let the word of God have a free course. That is, it will have an entrance into your heart, into your soul. In the name of Jesus, pray and say, Father, I will not be here. I will be a doer. Whatever the word of God is demanding from me tonight, I will do it because the word will have a free course in my life. In the name of Jesus, let your word find express way into all our lives, into all our situations. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says the word of God is sharper than any two edges were. Tonight, whatever may be the problem, the word of God will penetrate into them. The word of God will pierce asunder every intent and purpose of the wicked in your life and in my life. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be in Jesus' name. We are going to pray that tonight there shall be signs, there shall be wonders, and there shall be miracles. Let's declare it. Let's declare Clearly, tonight we declare there shall be signs, there shall be wonders, and there shall be miracles. And God, you will not pass me by. Tell God, you will not pass me by. As you are passing through this congregation tonight, to route your signs, to route your miracles, to route your wonders, you will not pass me by. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We are going to leave the servant of God, lift her into the hands of God. That fresh fire from above, fresh anointing, fresh unction to function. The Lord will release upon the apostle in the name of Jesus. Let's pray, let's pray that he will, she will speak like the oracle of God. She will speak like the mouthpiece of God. The word of God tonight will not fall on the ground. But the purpose for which God descended the world shall be fulfilled in all our lives. In the name of Jesus, we declare there shall be salvation of souls. There shall be healing like never before. There shall be deliverances. In the name of Jesus, people will be liberated from the kingdom of hell. In the name of Jesus, we release your servant into your hands. We pray for all transits from on high. We pray for the tongue of the learned. We pray for the eloquence of the Holy Spirit. In in the name of Jesus, Masoto le karima korea male, huri male karima korea. As you declare the cancer of God, it will have effect upon all our lives. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. To take the last prayer, we are going to sing this song. 
is coming back again. My Lord is coming back again. He went away and promised that he's coming back again. He's coming back again. My Lord is coming back again. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. He's coming back again. You know, the team says Jesus is coming soon. That is the purpose of our gathering. We are going to declare that no sinner will go out of this place without being saved tonight. Let's, let's declare it. Let's establish it. Let's compel it. No sinner will go out of this place without being saved tonight. In the name of Jesus. That is the purpose of our gathering. That is the purpose. It's not just a jamboree. No sinner will go back home the same way they came. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. And so, our Father, we want to thank you for this evening. Thank you because even before we came, you are already here. You are here to save. You are here to heal. You are here to deliver. Please, Lord, all we are asking is that you have your way tonight in Jesus' name. That as the program progresses, you will progress with us. And everybody will go back with testimony. Thank you, Savior. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Thank you, Pastor Mrs. Mary Olayode, for that anointed prayer session. We pray upon your life more anointing in Jesus' name. And in this kingdom, you know, be found missing in Jesus' name. Can we please give a round of applause for the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Jesus, our Savior, the lover of our soul. At this point, I'd like to come to the altar. Dare justified. Can we please give them a round of applause? Somebody shout hallelujah. If you know that you know that tonight is your night. Somebody give the Lord a shout of praise. If you know that you know that tonight will not pass you by. That Jesus will meet you at the point of your need. Can you jump on your feet and give the Lord a shout of praise. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Say neighbor, tonight is your night. Turn to another neighbor. Say neighbor, 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 neighbor. Say tonight is your night. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. I would like to thank the leadership of this outreach. Thank you so much, mommy. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much, sir, for this great privilege given to us to be a blessing to God's people tonight. I don't want to believe us to worship God tonight. God will move like never before. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we bless your holy name. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you. You've got times and seasons in your end. Oh God, you called for light out of darkness. You don't need a man to be the God you are. Oh, you have chosen to call me your own. Say, you've got times, you've got times and seasons in your end. Can you bless this God tonight? You God for life. You don't need a man. To be the God, you have chosen. Come on, the glad. We say you are God from beginning to the end. Oh 
God. You are God. It never and the end. Oh God, all power belongs to you. Jesus said, It never, all power, say, power belongs to you. Jesus, all power, lift your voice. In heaven, Jesus, and no one is talking. Power belongs to you, Jesus. Say, get never, get never, not. Yeah. Power belongs to you. Your power flow. Hey, in this, everybody say, Let your healing call. My God, my God, in this place, I call. I call the signs and wonders. In this place tonight, in this place, let your presence show. Let your presence show. Everybody jump. In this place, everybody say, Anointing. Anointing. Follow me. Your mercy, Your mercy, I see. Oh, just like the days, just like the days. Your power remains. Your power remains the same. Yes, it never changed.
seeds that follow you here today they are not going back home with you so oh yeah, ja, 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 break loose from every bondage Jesus is here oh yeah he dare me down neighbor say neighbor tonight is my night turn to another neighbor say neighbor 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 are you ready you know our God can do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask of him according to the power that worketh in us are you ready to leave that place are you ready are you ready salvation you will receive the call that will change your life all things will work together for your good are you ready only you can do you say only you can do you can do only you can do Before you leave this place or after this revival Jesus will so change your life so when they ask you say who do I'm you go say that Jesus so let's check that song 
Hold somebody where you like. Hold that person. Hold that person very tight. Get a partner. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. After this two days revival. If you see me, you're not gonna know me again. No man will meet Jesus where their life they remain the same. Because you've come to meet Jesus tonight, things are changing for you. So you are going to sing a prophetic song. I beg you, live where you are standing. Let people know something is happening here. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's 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 cut out this place. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, 
shoulder. Form a straight line. Oh yeah, do one more. Form it. Oh yeah, hold your neighbor by their shoulder like this, like this. Oh yeah, do one more, do one more, do one more, do one more. Tell your neighbor and make sure you are moving. Are you ready? Say, Kadi me they go. Baba Kadi me they go, they go, they go.
Jesus in the Keja and his environs. Jesus is here tonight. Oh, yeah, Jehovah.
deities. Jesus. Oh my God. Wow. A round of applause for the King of Kings. Just let's celebrate Jesus. Let's celebrate Jesus. Our God is awesome. Amen. If you are happy to be in the house, shout a thunderous hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It's offering time. I can't hear your voices. It's offering time. Amen. I want you to dip your hands in your pocket and bring us something good. Remember, we are in the place of prayers. We have sung, we have danced. I want you to bring a good offering so that you can be able to sow a seed concerning tonight that God we answer you. You will not go back the same way you have come. I want you to look for something good. Something wonderful. Bring it out from your purse and pocket. And just appreciate God with this. Amen. Remember God loves the cheerful giver. Amen. Praise God. Can we be upstanding? Let's be on our feet. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, the owner of my soul. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised. In no generation, there is no one like you. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised. Thank you.
Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. If you are here, you have not given your offering. Let me hear you shout hallelujah. Praise God. You are here, you have not given your offering. Let me hear you shout hallelujah. That means we are good to go. Amen. Let's close our eyes for prayers. Almighty Jehovah, the King of glory, we thank you. Father, we appreciate you because of what you have done. That we have brought this our offering before your throne of grace. That we pray that you accept us and our offering in Jesus' name. That you said in your word, yes, is that so, the same year Isaac sold, he reaps in hundred fold. Father, we are praying right now, O oh Lord. Father, let our offering, O oh Lord, make it with our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask, O oh Lord, that from the Lord you have given to us, we are brought this little. Father, let it be acceptable unto you in Jesus' name. That we thank you because you are a faithful God. Oh, Father, as we have come, O oh Lord, and as we have given our offering unto you, we will not go back the same way where we have come. Testimony will follow us in Jesus' name. It is well with us in Jesus' name. Increase all around in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. Alpha and Omega, there is no one like you. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. commander of the entire universe you are the one who separated the waters from the firmament you commanded the waters to separate and you lit the world you said let there be light and there was light you are the one who lives on in heaven and you made the earth your footstool you are the one who rules and reigns in the affairs of man you are the excellency of excellencies. You are the majesty of all majesties. You are the royalty of all royalties. Your, di your divinity, your sovereignty, your supremacy. Oh, Father, we welcome you. Oh, take your rightful place. Heavenly King, you are welcome in this place. Oh, Father, Lord God, we exalt you. We exalt your holy name. You are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our honor. You are worthy of our adoration. Father, we thank you for the first day of our two-day crusade. The Ikeja for Christ's crusade. Father, Lord God, meet with us in this crusade. Be with us in this crusade. Reside with us in this crusade. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly King, 
We ask that you bring your people from north, south, east, and west. We ask, Father, Lord God, that you usher them into this place. Father, Lord God, we look up to you. We look unto you. Father, come and do that which only you can do. Come and do that which only you do best. Father, we pray that you will touch your children. Father, I pray that by your spirit, oh Lord God, healing will take place. Father, you will touch every heart that has not yet given their lives to Christ. Father, salvation will take place in their hearts. In the name of Jesus, I pray let there be signs, let there be wonders, let there be miraculous movements of your spirit in this place. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord God, we pray that it shall be all of you and none of me. In the name of Jesus, Father, we invite you to be with us throughout this crusade. Not just for today, but also for tomorrow. Father, Lord God, you said we should not be ignorant of the devices of the crafty. We bind and we cast out every power of darkness that may want to contend with you. In the name of Jesus, we destroy all their evil powers. They shall not prosper in this place. Every kingdom, every contender, Every principality, every power, Father, Lord God, they are under your feet. They are under our feet in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Glory be to your holy name for all that you have done, all that you are doing, and all that you are yet to do. In the mighty name of Jesus, we welcome you into this place. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. You are welcome. In this place, mighty God, you are welcome in this place, Abba Father. You are worthy of our praise, to you our hands we raise. You are welcome in this place, mighty God. hear it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Move God in his mercy seat when you praise him. I said praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is here. He was here even before we got here because we serve a faithful God. Father, we appreciate you and we thank you. We purpose to be here today, Father, Lord God, you have made all things possible. Because you are the one who makes whatever seems impossible to man possible. We know that all we have brought before you tonight, Father, Lord God, shall be made manifest to your glory, to the shame of the devil, and to our victory. In Jesus' name, I welcome every single one of you. And I'd like each one of you to welcome your neighbors and Tell them that you congratulate them for making it into this place tonight. Because we are going to experience new things. The type that eyes have not seen. The type that ears have not heard. So shall it be. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. That's quite shock or hallelujah. I said if you believe it, shout hallelujah. Tell your neighbor. I will be the second person to be a partaker. Why are you going to be the second person? Because the husband man is the first partaker and that is me. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. So we thank God for your life. I know, Father, that I know that those who do not yet know the Lord, 
will sadly know him tonight. Yes, because Jesus said, he is coming soon. That is the theme of this crusade. Jesus is coming soon. And our theme scripture is taken from the book of Revelations, chapter 22, verse 12. And it says, And behold, I am coming quickly with my rewards. And I shall give it to everyone whose work who has, who, who has worked? I will give it to everyone who has worked. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. So he will decide how much work that you have done. And when he has decided how much work you have done, then he will decide what kind of reward you should get. Should it be a crown or not? Should it be just a mere mention? Should it be a mansion? Whatever it is. He is the one that will decide. So you are here tonight. And you have not yet surrendered your life tonight. I believe that you will not leave this place without making sure that you have surrendered your life. Praise the Lord. In the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth. He spent six days creating it and he rested on the seventh. And he created man and woman. When he did that, he showed them where they could go and where they can't go. But man sinned because they went to where they weren't supposed to go. As a result, they lost their dominion. They lost their authority. They lost it to Satan. And Satan began to rule and reign over them. And God had to make a new plan. And he promised that he would send a Messiah to redeem mankind for himself. So that mankind can have what they had before mankind sinned. Therefore, Jesus confirmed that in the book of John 3, verse 16. And we know the rest of the story. He made sure that he honored his promise that all those who give their life to Christ, every single one of them will be saved. And we are here tonight to make sure that nobody is left out. Jesus came to pay the price on behalf of mankind. On his death, his burial and resurrection, his blood atoned for man. There's no other type of blood that can pay that price. It was only Jesus that fitted the shoe. And that was why God used him as the singular sacrifice that was possible, that was needed to ensure that there was no more need for the blood of animals to be shed. So Jesus Christ paid that price for you and I. And to him be all the glory. The blood of Jesus is the only blood that works, that functions, that takes away the sins of the world. As a result, we can call upon him and the blood that he shed for us and we continue to remain with him. And he continues to do amazing things in our lives. Praise the Lord. His death brought another era, the era of grace. That's the era that we are in right now. The era that mankind has come to take for granted. Many have taken it for granted. But I tell you, this grace period is not going to last forever. 
And that's why it's called grace. Grace is for a limited time. Grace is never forever. Praise the Lord. So he came into the world and he died that death on the cross and he created opportunities for us to enjoy and continue to enjoy what he did on the earth when he was here. The Bible says in Luke chapter 4 verses 18 to 19 that he preached the gospel all over the world. Wherever he went, he preached to those who were poor in spirit. He healed the sick. He opened the eyes of the blind. He raised the lame. He delivered the captives. Those who are oppressed by the devil. He delivered them all. And the rest is history. As he was going about doing good, as the Bible tells us, we in the grace period have continued to receive that his goodness and his mercy. Because when he died, he promised to send the comforter. And he did. And the presence of the comforter is to help us to ensure that our salvation is secure. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. That comforter is with us during this grace period. As a result, we are still enjoying what others were enjoying when Jesus was here on earth. And I would like to liken it to you being in a club, for instance. You know that all clubs, you would have to register. And it's not just about registering. You would have to pay to be a member. And it's after you have paid that you can enter and begin to enjoy the facilities of the club. Praise the Lord. Don't forget I said you have to pay. Everybody knows that. But with the Lord Jesus Christ, the registration with him, when you say, I give my life to Christ, I surrender my life to him, it's totally free. F -R -E, -E. I know that usually mankind loves to run towards everything that's free. What you don't know is that this is the best freedom that you can ever get. The best thing that you can get for free in the whole wide world and in heaven. I believe that it is ignorance that has not allowed some to come to Jesus. But I know that after tonight, by the end of this program, they will get it. I said they will get it. They will have a better understanding of the reasons why they need to surrender to the Lord Jesus Christ. But you see, when somebody gives you a book and says, it's free, I give you this book. There's every tendency to put that book on the shelf and leave it there to continue to receive dust. But when you have to pay for it with your money, hard-earned money, you find that you read the book. Am I right? Hello? Is that not correct? When you have sweated for the money and you have used your money to pay for the book, you tend to want to read the book. But when the book came to you free of charge, you just leave it on the shelf. Readable whenever. That's the mindset of man. And it shouldn't be that way. This is the best thing that you could ever ask for. Or that you can ever even pay for. How much less get free. Praise the Lord. So, we're enjoying these benefits. We're enjoying them free of charge. Jesus heals the sick free of charge. He delivers the oppressed 
free of charge. Correct? How much have you had to pay? How much have you had to pay for God to heal you? Did you pay? How much did you have to pay when you cried to Jesus and you said, I'm facing this problem, Lord. And by the following morning, the problem is gone. How much did you pay overnight? Hello, someone. I would have thought that the sound of your voices would be louder than that. Or is it that those who are not yet born again are more than those who are born again? Because I would have thought that your experiences in that, in that line would make you speak louder for the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's better. So, we are enjoying benefits free of charge. You might want to ask if I tell you that Jesus is coming back. You might want to say, why is he coming back? That's easy. He's coming back to save and deliver his own. Who are his own? Those who have given their lives to Christ. Those who are living holy lives. Those who are living in righteousness. He will come back for them. And he will usher them in into the kingdom of God. His kingdom. He will say, welcome, my sister. Welcome, my brother. Welcome, my friend. That's what he's coming back to do, to redeem us from the coming destruction. Because the destruction is coming. Now, while Jesus tarries, you have the grace you have the opportunity to say, yes, Lord, I'm for you. Save me. I am willing. I surrender. That is that grace period that we are talking about. Praise the Lord. So he's coming to do that. I pray that when he does, that he will find you amongst those that will go back with him. In the name of Jesus, I pray you will not be left behind for the devil to toss and turn. In the name of Jesus, praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. So you need to ask yourself, where will you be when he does return? Because return he will. But I tell you, my brothers and sisters, that... The thief in the night never gives notice that he's coming to burgle your home. The ones who do do that do it to put fear in you. But God has not put the, he, uh, any fear in us. We have no fear. We has not given us, he has not given us over to the devil. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. As a result, Jesus will always be there for us, with us, and will always be in us through the Holy Spirit. And he'll work, continue to work wonders in Jesus' name. So, you may want to ask, when is he coming? If he's coming. The disciples ask the same question. Is my sister here to read Matthew 24 verses 3 to 14 for me, please? Yes, yes ma'am. Yeah, ma please, go ahead. Verses Mas 3 to 14, Matthew 24. Verse 3. Now as he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately saying, Tell us, when will this thing be, and what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? Verse 4. And Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed that no one dece deceives you. Verse 6. For verse 5. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. 
verse 6. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Verse 7. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. Verse 8. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Verse 9. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. Verse 10. And then many will be offended, will betray one another, and will hate one another. Verse 11. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. Verse 12, and because lawlessness we abound, the love of many will grow cold. 13, but he who endures to the end shall be saved. Verse 14, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations. And then the end will come. Praise the Lord. You heard all that. It was simple English, and I believe everybody understands it. A lot of that what was, that was said what is taking place all over the world. Yes, we hear of pestilences. We hear of those who are pretending to be Jesus. And so on and so forth. Wars are taking place. Yes, we've seen viruses. HIV came and went. Ebola came and went. And now we have what? Koro. Koro is still with us. Praise the Lord. The poxes came. There was chicken pox. There was small pox. We don't know whether there's going to be large pox. But recently has been monkey pox. Praise the Lord. There are natural disasters all over the world. Volcano reactions, earthquakes, um, tsunamis, landslides, wildfires, and so on and so forth. Coming closer home. Is there anybody in this country that will say they have not heard of Boko Haram? That they have not heard of the herdsmen. Will they say that they don't know about the frauds that are going on and the awful corruption that's going on around the country? Have you not heard of 419? Lawless deeds, kidnappings. Have you not heard how they're persecuting Christians? Have you not heard of the floods? And so on and so forth. Poverty. Name it. It's all around us. And then what about the wars? Right now, we watch the news and we listen to the Russia and Ukraine war. And what's going on there right now? It's all around us. Are we going to close our eyes to all of that? What am I saying? The end times are here. Those are the signs. The disciples asked Jesus, what will be the signs? How many more signs are you still waiting for before you know that it's time for you to do something about your life? You want proof? You've seen proof. Proof in the Bible. Proof all around you. Everywhere you go, the proofs are there. What more are you waiting for? I pray for you. That by the time Jesus Christ comes, he will not find you wanting. In the name of Jesus. So, I'd like to ask you a question. What will you be doing by the time he comes? Where will he find you when he comes? What are you going to say to him when he comes? Are you going to feign ignorance? 
Are you going to pretend that you never heard? Because even the Eskimos in the North and South Poles know. The missionaries have reached them. They know about Jesus. What's going to be your excuse? That's the million dollar question. You drive past the church and you don't even apply the brakes. How much more enter? You drive to the Owambe party that's down the road. You prefer that. Forgetting the most important part of your life. The most important thing that you could have ever done. Well, it will. The Bible tells us that it will be quick. It will be sudden. And it will be within the twinkling of an eye. There will be no time for you to quickly give your life to Christ. It will be too late, my sister. It will be too late, my brother. There won't be time for that. You need to give your life to Christ now. Praise the Lord. Watch this short clip. He said, I'm coming quickly. And my rewards are with me. To give to everyone. According to the works. According to his works. If you look at that short clip very closely. Was there any warning? Hello? That's the rapture. The rapture. That's how it's going to come. Like a thief in the night. Nobody's going to give you any notice. There'll be no invitation cards apart from the ones you're listening to now. Apart from the ones you've read in the Bible, if you even bother to read the Bible. Praise God. Did you notice that many were being taken up suddenly? They were disappearing suddenly. Someone who was driving was taken up. The car hit a building. It had no driver anymore. The woman that wanted to take money for the purchases from her clients, the air conditioner dropped on her head. Of course, she must have died. I'm sure the hospitals were full. When people woke up that morning, it appeared to be a normal day like any other day. Business as usual. Everybody going about what they usually do. Those that will get married will get married. Those who are partying will go, go to the party. Those who are going to work would go to work. Not knowing that that was going to be the day. The day of reckoning. No notice. And as I was explaining earlier, the way it's going to happen is that the entire world will just suddenly become black. At the same time, regardless of the time in that country, whether you are in Timbuktu or Canada or in Nigeria, everywhere will go black suddenly. The sun will disappear. The moon will disappear. The stars will fall and fail. That will happen. And I believe that as Christ is hovering in the clouds, having sent his 
are angels down to the earth to go and bring his own unto him. What's going to happen? I believe that they have come, used their computers in heaven. They already know the ones that are saved, the ones that belong to Christ, the ones that have been living a holy life, the ones that have been living in righteousness. They know them. As a result, those are the only ones who will hear the trumpet sound. Those who did not give their lives to Christ will not hear that trumpet. The Bible says they have eyes and they cannot see. They have ears and they cannot hear. People like us, like Rose of Shana Gloria's Mystery International, are going around the world as the Lord prompted us to. Go and tell my people the time is near. The signs are there. Hear, see, and act. Do not, like, do not be like the fools who heard and shrugged their shoulders and who moved on and ignored the Lord Jesus. Because there will not be another time. Praise the Lord. I ask you again, where he will he find you? So, when he is in that cloud, the first to rise will be those who died in Christ. They will go up to him. He will, they will go with the angels right to where Jesus is. The next will be those who are continuing to live their lives in righteousness. Within the twinkling of an eye, their bodies will be switched. They will be turned. And they will begin to float with the angels of the living God to go and meet up in the clouds with Jesus. Praise the Lord. Are you going to be one of those? Hello? It's a question. Are you going to be one of those that will be caught up in the, in the air, in the clouds, to go and meet with Jesus? Those whom he's going to save from the great tribulation that's coming. None of them want, are, are, are going to be saved. None of them are going to be saved. Nobody's asking. Are you going to be among those that Jesus will take away with him? That's better. If you do not yet know him, tonight is your opportunity. Tonight is the opportunity for you to say, yes, Lord, I surrender. Praise the Lord. Don't miss that opportunity when the altar call is on. Don't be afraid to say, yes, Lord. What you should be afraid of in situations like that movie. And even after the rapture, there's worse to come. When the Antichrist is on the earth, there's worse to come. I pray that you will not be in that group. In the name of Jesus, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All we have been talking about is about the fact that there's sin in the world. But God wants to take his own. He doesn't want them to remain like that. He wants them to be saved. He wants them to be delivered from the evil one. And from eternal damnation. Praise the Lord. And that's why Jesus had to pay that price. It's only the blood of Jesus that can save you. Jesus Christ will save you. And it's free. It's cheap. You only need to say a few words. You don't need to bring out your checkbook as you would do in the, in the club. When you go to Ikoyu Club and you say you want to register, yes, sir, it's uh, uh, this uh, amount of money. 
Maybe it's millions, I don't know. That was the last time I was there. Hmm. Maybe it's the Keja Club. Wherever, they're everywhere. You need to go to the free club. The club of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where he's calling you now. You don't need to pay. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And I tell you, there's no sin, big or small, that any medicated soap can wash off. You, there's no amount of purification chemicals that you can use that can remove your sin except the blood of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I'd like to liken it to a small analogy, a small story that I will tell you now about the mercy of God towards sin. There was a university lecturer and a student who both agreed to be fornicating and they both decided that it would be marks for sex or sex for marks, however you want to place it. And they were doing their thing. Little did they know that a university employee in charge of CCTV was watching them as they were getting on with their thing and was even not only watching but recording of course he came back knocking hello professor so and so let's hide his name and the name of the student have you forgotten your escapades on such and such a date I saw you, I beg your pardon, saw us doing what? Oh, you don't need to pretend with me, I've got the tape. What are you talking about? Flicks it open. The tape, you remember in the cloakroom when you went in there and you hid behind the cabinets? I was watching. So... He started to blackmail them from that point on. Collecting money. Anytime he was broke, he went, my ATM, I'm back. Come to cash in. When they got tired of all that, with the experiences they had with him, the professor had gotten into trouble with his wife and children at home. He wasn't playing the part of husband and father as he should, as he used to. Because the money was just dwindling in. The student had paid and paid with her pocket money. And of course, there was hardly anything left for her to eat. They both got fed up and they decided between the two of them to go and report themselves to the VC. The VC listened. He was shocked, of course. Of course. And he said, if you ever do that again, this is what this and this is what I will do. But because you came to report yourselves, I'll forgive your sins this time. And that's how they went away, happy, surprised, and wondered why they didn't do that earlier. Praise the Lord. The blackmailer came back and wanted to cash in again. And they said, uh-uh, not this time, not this time, fellow. And he was wondering what they were talking about. He said, yes, I've still got the tapes. You're the one that doesn't know what you're talking about. And they said, we've gone to report ourselves to the VC and he has forgiven us there. Huh. That's how... The mercy of God is. Clap for Jesus if you want to clap. All 
we need to do is to make our confessions tonight. And he will receive you with open arms. And he will forgive you. And he will give you a new beginning. And he will give you grace. All that you other, uh, 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 ever suffered for. Your story will be rewritten for his glory. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I know there are people here in this arena that need to say, yes, Lord, I'm ready. I don't want to be part of anything in that movie. I don't want to experience anything like that. I, I love Jesus already. I want to know him. I want to develop a relationship with him. I want to get closer with him. I want to live a holy life. I want to know more of him. I want him in my life. I want him to save me. You are here under the unction of my voice. Or you are online still under the unction of my voice. This is your opportunity. This is the grace period. And as I said, the grace period is not going to be here forever. It is time for you to come out and give your life to Christ. It is time for you to say, yes, Lord, I'm for you. You are backslidden. It is time for you to retrace your steps. God is faithful. God is kind. God is willing. God is generous. I tell you, don't wait a moment further. Do not wait a moment further. That same God did it for me years ago. And I will never deny him. I will always say it. And I don't care whose ox is God. Yes, I do not care whose ox is God. God is faithful. He's been faithful to me. And he can be faithful to you too. He just wants you to come out and say it. It's free. You don't need to pay. The gold is his. The silver is his. Everything in heaven and earth belongs to him. So what is it that is in your pocket that he doesn't own? Belongs to him in the first place. So don't worry about the person who's looking at you because you're coming up here. Don't be ashamed to come up here. Don't forget what Jesus said. He said that if you're ashamed of me in the presence of man, I'll be ashamed of you. Jesus is here. He loves you. He loves you. He loves every sinner. He wants to make things better for you. He wants to receive you. He wants to give you another opportunity. He wants to make your life better. He wants to make your life better than it is now. Those sicknesses and diseases. He will uproot them from your body. He will heal you. He'll make a way for you. What is it that you are battling with? Whatever the tribulation, he's more than able to deliver you. Whatever the challenge, he can give you a new start. He will be in it with you. He'll make a way for you. He will help you. He does not renege. He's loving. He's kind. He's amazing. He's wonderful. He's not a man that he should lie. Every word that comes out of his mouth will not go back to him boy, but will accomplish all that he has sent it to do. He's not like man that tells lies. He's not lying. He's saying the truth. You just need to learn to believe. And when you believe, you will receive. When you believe, you will receive. Believe in the Lord Jesus. He wants to help you. 
He wants to deliver you. He loves you. He wants to make a difference in your life. He doesn't want to continue seeing you struggling on your own. There's no need for you to struggle. There's no need. You can enjoy a better life. That better life is waiting for you. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. He said he has not given you the spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of a sound mind. You have a sound mind. He'll give you a better mind. You are struggling. He will deliver you from your struggles. He'll make a way for you where there seems to be no way. With Jesus, there's always a way. There's always a way out. Come on out. Come on out. Put the devil to shame. The devil doesn't want you to get out of your seat. Come on out. Come on out. Come from the left. Come from the right. Come from the middle. He's here to save you. He wants to save you. The God who did it for me can do it for you. And you too can go out like me and preach the gospel the way he is be sending me. And you will not be ashamed. I'm not ashamed to preach the gospel. And I will preach it till kingdom come. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Praise the living Jesus. Clap for them. Clap for them as they come. Clap for them as they come. They are the ones that have shamed the devil. They have shamed the devil tonight. They have put the devil to shame. Get up from your seat and come out. Put the devil to shame. You will see a turnaround in your life. As I said, I'm not ashamed to say it. He did it for me and he can do it for you too. He won't turn your back, his back on you. He'll keep you in the palm of his hands. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Keep coming. Keep coming. I'm going to start the prayer. Keep coming. Clap for them. Let them keep coming. Even if you're at the back, come. Just come. Come. Put the devil to shame. He loves you. Jesus loves you. He doesn't want you to allow the devil to continue tossing you up and down. He'll make a difference in your life. He'll change your story. He'll do that which only he can do. He'll do that which only he does best. Praise the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can you quickly say after me with a loud voice? Oh Lord God, I confess that I'm a sinner. That I have fallen short of your glory. I invite Jesus to save me. To, I, I invite Jesus to write my name in the book of life. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want a new beginning. Help me. Deliver me to his fold. You will never have cause to live again. In the name of Jesus. The counselors are waiting. Please give them your names, your contacts. We are going to need it because we need to continue praying for you. They will tell you a bit more about our ministry. It is well with you. It is well with you. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. I said clap for Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. And for those of us who are already born again, I don't know whatever it is that um, you are battling with, but the Lord Jesus is here. He's ready and he's willing that whenever... We call upon him. He will answer us. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus.
you are here and you are looking on to Jesus for healing. You are here. You are looking on to Jesus for the fruits of the womb. You are here. You are looking on to Jesus for a breakthrough one way or the other. You are here. You are looking unto Jesus for things that you cannot even discuss with another human being. But you are looking unto him. You can come out. Come out now. Come out now. The Lord Jesus is here. He's ready. He's willing. He's able to deliver you. It's his power. I have no power of my own. He's in this arena to do a new thing in our lives. To make things better in our lives. You are looking for a life partner. You are still single. Though you should have gotten married long ago. Or maybe you just came out of uni. And you are ready for marriage. You too can come out. You are looking for the right spouse. Look no further. The Lord Jesus, who has the ability to do all things, can lead you, can direct you, can make a way for you. So as I pray, as I pray, you will claim your own by faith. Because you are not in the group that just left with the counselors. You know the routine. And the routine is, let me remind you. You come with your faith. You believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And he will answer you. In the name of Jesus. You are see, I will call out your case and I will pray for you. And you will come back here and you will testify. In the name of Jesus. You're seeking a life partner. You're looking for your root. You're looking for your Boaz. The Lord himself will direct your footsteps. He will open your eyes. I said he will open your eyes. You will not make any wrong choices. In the name of Jesus. Nobody will mislead you. You will not enter into the wrong family. You will not enter into the wrong community. You will not go to the wrong country because of this person that you are looking for. God will bring you two together. The right person. The one that he has earmarked for you in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Wedding bells will ring in the name of Jesus. You will not make the wrong choice of your life. God by himself will lead you. He will direct your footsteps. He will speak to your heart. What you need to do next when you get home is to bring out a sheet of paper and a pen. And you write a list of the kind of wife you want. Write a list of the kind of husband you desire. You will be shocked. That when you get married, you'll find that that man, that woman has all the same qualities that you wrote tonight. The ones you wrote in that list when you get home, that is the kind of partner, the kind of spouse that God will give to you. In the name of Jesus. Because he's not a man that will lie. And because you have come out in faith and because you believe, you will receive such a person in Jesus name Amen those that are already married and they are seeking the face of God 
for the fruit of the womb. Ha <laughs> ha. The Lord God is here. He said there shall be no one that will not have his own partner. You will have your wife. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you will have your own children. You will never be barren. In the name of Jesus. I said you will never be barren. Barrenness is not here. None in this congregation or beyond for as long as you believe. It's not, part of, it's going, it's not going to be part of your testimony. Sarah believed God. Hannah believed God. We know their stories. Many, many have come to our crusades like this. And they came back the following year with their children in their arms. Your own case will not be different. Some were, eight, their marriages were 18 years, 9 years, 12 years. In fact, the couple whose own was 18 years, God gave them twins and today is their birthday. After six years, 17th of August, those children are in the UK with their parents right now. And some people from their church are here in this congregation tonight. Praise the Lord. I pray that your own case will not take that long. In the name of Jesus. By this time next year, you will come with your twins. You will come with your triplets. You come with your boys and your girls in the name of Jesus. That will be your testimony. That I, for, I ask for this child or these children from the Lord. And God granted my heart's desire. That will be your testimony. In the name of Jesus. You will come back and testify. In Jesus name. I don't know. What is plaguing you in your temple? But I do know that the owner of the temple is here. I know that he will touch you. And he has touched you tonight. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In fact, before we got to this meeting, God said that the person with epilepsy is healed. The person with, 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 with a problem in their back is healed. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I don't know what your own ailment is, but I do know that God who did it for them can do it for you too. In the name of Jesus. I said receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Any part of your body that the enemy has plagued, that plague is uprooted from your temple right now. In the name of Jesus. It is well with you. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know which area you want breakthrough in. I don't know which area you are believing God for a breakthrough. Is it in your finances? Ah. The finances belong to God. The gold and the silver belong to him. And he's willing to give it to anybody he pleases. Make your request and you will testify. I said you will testify in the name of Jesus. Is there anything too hard for him to do? No. He will look at your heart and he will bless you according to your needs. He will bless you according to your desire. He will bless you according to your request in the name of Jesus. When the door has closed against you, those gates begin to fling open now in the name of Jesus. You will receive favor from men and women. You will receive favor from black and white. You will receive favor from young and old. In the name of Jesus. There is nothing that God cannot do. He is a God of suddenly. He is a God of surprises. He will surprise you. He will visit you. He will make a way for you. Your finances are settled. In the name of Jesus. Any area that you need to break through. God will go ahead of you and you'll break every barrier in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Begin to thank the Lord. 
Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. He has done it. The Lord has done it. He'll make a way for you. In the name of Jesus. I'm beginning to sing. He has done it for me. He has done for me. He has done it for you. He has done it for me. What my brother cannot do. He has done it for me. What my mother cannot do. He has done it for me. He has done it for me. He has done it for me. Oh, hallelujah. He has done it for me. 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 What my father cannot do. From this place, not the same. Give the Lord a thunderous hallelujah. If you know that you're coming here tonight, it's not in vain. Give the Lord a joyful hallelujah. God is faithful. God is awesome. We thank God for the life of our money. The servant leader, Apostle Lauren Shalakija. We thank God for the grace upon him, upon her. We thank God for how well he has used her tonight. We pray that the Lord will replenish her. The Lord will going to strengthen her and use her greater in the mighty name of Jesus. We cover her in the blood of Jesus and we declare it is well with her in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that every word she has spoken to us tonight shall continue to bear great fruit in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that every word she has spoken to us tonight come tomorrow. Testimonies shall abound in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that as many that have received the word tonight, healing, salvation, restoration, it is permanent. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. I'm going to use your daughter for your glory. Increase your grace upon her. Your anointing upon her. The oil upon her will never run dry. So you be the absolute praise and glory. Forever and ever in Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Somebody say a better amen. Quickly, our announcement to the glory of God is that the program continues tomorrow. It is a two-day crusade in Ikeja. And by the grace of God, we'll be here again tomorrow. And the time, of course, is 6 p.m. Praise the Lord. Please, you are encouraged to be here tomorrow because we know that the glory of the latter is always greater than what? Than the former. So whatever you have seen here today, tomorrow will be greater. We know that when we cook a food, the bottom pot is sweeter than the world. And tomorrow is the bottom pot. So don't be told. Come here tomorrow. Invite your friends. Invite your enemies. And invite your what? Your chickens. And our mommy will always say, praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Can we rise up as we say the closing prayer? It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done today. It shall be permanent. Permanent. It shall be permanent. Permanent. It shall be permanent. Oh, what the Lord has done tonight. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done today. It shall be permanent. Permanent. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done today. It shall be permanent. And so, Heavenly Father, we thank you for what you have done tonight. Just like that song says, oh God, we declare it is permanent in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, we thank you, Father Jehovah, Lord, that none of us that came here, Lord, is going away the same way we came. Precious Redeemer, Lord, we pray that as we go, that your presence will go with us. We pray that your angels that brought us here safely, Lord, will take us back to our home safely in the name of Jesus. We cover every one of us as we go in the blood of Jesus. We pray for God's speed that there shall be no delays on our ways in the name of Jesus. We came here in peace, O oh Lord, as we go back, we shall meet our families, our loved ones in peace, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray, Lord, that Father, as you take us safely back home, oh Lord, come tomorrow. May nothing be able to hinder us from be back, being back here tomorrow in Jesus' name. Thank you, Abba, Father. So you be the glory forever. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Can we share the grace together in fellowship? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. As we let us make, make our confession. Others are saying there's a casting down. As for me and my household, it is a lifting up. Amen. When others are saying there's a casting down. As for me. And my household, it is a lifting up. Amen. Let's declare over Rose Jim. When others are saying that they're casting down. As for Rose Jim. And everyone that came here tonight, it is a what? A lifting up. Somebody shout and lift it up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Shalom. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Fresh fire. Roger, we're